Amani Toomer from NBC Sports Radio, the 24-7 live sports talk network. You can listen at NBCSportsRadio.com. Download the NBC Sports Radio mobile app today. Happy New Year, Amani. How are you, pal? I'm doing great. How about you? Uh, I think we'd be doing a lot better with the number one seed and home field advantage if Carson Wentz were healthy. If you're watching the Eagles the last two weeks, Amani, are you feeling good entering the playoffs with a bye and home field advantage? I don't like the bye. And I, I don't like the fact that you know, you're sitting away watching a team that you're going to play next week get momentum and, and get into play. When you're playing, football players seem to be more comfortable. When you're off, it's not really all that great. Because, you know, it's, it's, every time you come up a bye week, there's usually like a half, maybe sometimes a quarter, a series or two, that you're just not the same. So I always felt uncomfortable because I wanted to hit the ground running and very infrequently does that happen when you have a bye week. Yeah, they were in a tough situation, uh, only compounded by the fact, Amani, that they lost their quarterback. Last week they played him a couple of series, and then they got him out of there. He didn't look very good. I mean, they're in a very unenvious situation here. But what about Nick Foles are you watching or seeing particularly maybe that uh, that he is struggling so bad? Is this just the fact that he hasn't played all that much, or is this just he's not all that good? I think he's good. Uh, I saw him play against the Giants. He made some plays that made my, uh, you know, made, it would impress me. So I, I'm not understanding where all oh, the whole team is going to fall apart because they don't have Carson Wentz. Do they, would they rather have Carson Wentz? Absolutely. But I think the fact that he has had success in the league, he's started a play game before, I think all that's going to help him. I, I think he's going to do all right. I, I, I'm not... I don't think Nick Foles is as bad as people think he is. So you're not putting a lot of stock in the uh, the last couple of games against Oakland and Dallas where he uh, he really struggled. I mean, the, the Dallas game didn't have a lot of meaning. They kind of got him in, got him out. It was about six degrees here. So I don't know how much stock you put in that game. Uh, you know, it's hard. When you're playing a game that's not for real, you know, it's like you're, as soon as they kind of secure their playoff spot, it's hard for, you know, I don't, I don't like going into games for a quarter or two quarters knowing that you're going to get the hook pretty soon. I, I don't I don't think that those are fair yeah. assessments. It's like the preseason that you can't really you know, judge. I think he's going to be a much better. I think he's going to. I think the Eagles have an excellent opportunity. Uh, and I think he's going to be. He's going to play like he played against the New York Giants, uh, a better quarterback that can make every throw on the field. And that's boy, I, I I believe it. Uh, speaking of the Giants, we're talking with former Giants wide receiver Amani Toomer, now with NBC Sports Radio. They brought in their GM, Dave Gettleman, already. He already came in and make moves. He fired guys before the 17th uh, Week 17 game that had their stuff boxed up and ready to go. So, number one, do you like the hire of Gettleman? And number two, do you anticipate seeing Eli back next year? I think Eli will be back. Um, I think the, the Gettleman... I think it's an interesting hire. There's a lot of familiarity there. I'm not ready to say it's good or not. I, I'm excited. I've known him for a long time. He was there for my entire career with the Giants. I, you know, I got a chance to talk to him on, on occasion. I, I never, never had a problem with him. I, I think he's a good guy. Uh, I just don't know how he's going to be as a, as a general manager. I know he had some trouble down in Carolina, obviously shortening his tenure down there, but. I'm sure he learned something from there, and, and I hope that ultimately he'll bring the Giants back to uh, prominence and have that culture, which a lot of people uh, around that organization were, were, were rumoring about, uh, to me about how bad the, the culture was. Hopefully that will turn around and the Giants will be uh, a viable team again in, in the near future. All right, a couple games I want to get your take on. Let's start at the NFC side of things. Falcons and Rams, you got the defending Super Bowl champs uh, up against the upstarts here. So kind of give us uh, your initial reaction to the six versus the three. Uh, I, I really like uh, the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, I think it's a tough situation for a team that has already had success in the playoffs uh, to play a team that's never been in a playoff situation. Uh, and, you know, for the most of the people on that team. So I think the advantage goes to the, uh, the Falcons. 
I know that the Rams have probably a better team, but the mental part of the game really plays a role in the playoffs. And having the pressure on you to have the whole playoff game. Right. I, you know, I've been a lot, in a lot of situations where I've lost opening round games to lower seats because, just because the lower seat has nothing to lose. How about uh, Carolina and the Saints? Um, you've been in this situation, I'm sure, before when you play a division opponent in the playoffs, yeah. and they played so recently, too. These teams just played a couple of weeks ago. Having that matchup in the first round of the playoffs probably makes this difficult uh, in terms of game plan. Well, I guess it's easy to game plan, but difficult to find something new to do against the, your opponent. Absolutely, and that's what the real problem is. is and that's why this is probably going to be the best game of the week because it's going to all come down to which team is more physical and which team executes better. You're not going to be able to trick the other team. They're not going to be able to run a triple reverse or all this stuff. They know. Both teams know exactly what the opponent wants to do. Right. They know their strengths. Yep. They know their weaknesses. And that, to me, led familiarity leads to a better football game. Uh, that is and the. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, that's a fun one. Now, Atlanta, Carolina, New Orleans. They're the three possible Eagle opponents. Atlanta, Carolina, New Orleans. If you're Philadelphia, do you have any pom-poms? Are you rooting for anybody or just bring on whoever I get? Uh, I think you want to play against uh, Atlanta. I think Atlanta is the team you want to play against because uh, – I think you. There's not a there's so not a great team. option in that NFC field. That NFC is loaded. It is. I mean, every team is pretty much right around each other with a, with a win or two. So yeah, it's that's very very competitive. But if I had my druthers, I'd want, probably want to play either a team that hasn't had any playoff experience, uh, maybe in the Rams or something like that. Or but I I I definitely would not want to play. Uh, the Carolina Panthers. Um, we'll leave you with this. Amani Toomer, NBC Sports Radio. Uh, we talked about the NFC field. Uh, the NFC, the underdog, regardless of who makes the Super Bowl. Do you like Pittsburgh, New England, over any of the six NFC teams? No, I think the NFC is, is, is a better division. I think they have more complete teams. Uh, I think the Patriots, if you put them in the NFC, or the Steelers in the NFC, I, I think they would be you know, maybe uh, they wouldn't. They wouldn't have a number one seed. They would have a the, the third seed. Maybe playing week one at, at best. Uh, I just think that the NFC is much more competitive. And Carolina's the team that's the number was the number five seed. Yep, they went into New England and beat them. Uh, he's, a Monty, he's a Monty Toomer, NBC Sports Radio, the 24-7 Live Sports Talk Network. You can hear it at NBCSportsRadio.com. Download the mobile app today. Happy New Year to you, pal. We'll talk to you again next week. Happy New Year. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me on. All right, Amani Toomer, everybody, here on the Sports Bash 97.3 ESPN.